All right, welcome back. We are on another segment of Live with LAFD. We're still here at Fire Station 13 in Koreatown, Pico Union area. And we're gonna have Engineer Jackson is gonna take us on a tour of Engine 13. All right, so uh, this is Engine 13 and it is a uh, triple combination pumper. So there are four members that are on this engine every day. I'm the engineer, so I drive the fire engine this is where I sit. The computer screen gives us information about the emergency call that we're going to. And then I have all the gauges for the rig, just like your normal car has. Uh, across from me is where the captain sits. And then two firefighters in the back. As we walk back, you can see where they keep all of their equipment inside. Got their helmets, their air bottles, and all of their turnout gear. Up next we have our pump panel. This is where we control the fire pump so we can spray water on the fire. Then we carry all of our different hose lines. We have one inch hose, inch and three quarter, and inch and a half hose. Um, as we keep going along the back, we have the rest of the gauges for operating the pump, all our controls, and then the rest of the uh, fire engine, we have all of our equipment. Here we have all of our fittings and nozzles. All the uh, fittings and what we call the pegboards that these are mounted on are custom made by the engineers at the fire station to meet the needs of the uh, fire engine that we're on. Right below that, we have a toolbox full of all sorts of regular tools just like you would have at home. Hammers, wrenches, and everything else you might uh, need on any sort of emergency call. And then we have all of our spanners for the hose to turn on fire hydrants and then make them break all the connections of the different size fire hose. As we work our way back, we have more fittings in the back here of all different sizes and shapes for uh, making different connections, turning uh, one hose line into two or two hose lines back into one. Right behind that, we have our fire extinguishers and our rotary saw. Uh, that is our tool that we use to cut into any locked gates or doors. When there's an emergency, we have to get inside of a locked building or gate to put out a fire or rescue somebody. Can you explain to them the difference between mm -hmm. these two hydrants? Mm -hmm. We have two different uh, fire extinguishers here. And the silver one there is full of regular water. That just sprays out two and a half gallons of water that we'd put on any sort of uh, burning wood or anything like that. The other one here is a dry chemical extinguisher. This is a big version of one that you would find in most buildings that's red in color. And that puts out that fine powder that smothers the fire and prevents it from burning. We'd use that when uh, water is not the appropriate extinguishing agent for a fire. Next up we have the engineers air bottle his scba and our two and a half inch nozzles we keep those back here because our two and a half inch hose is in the back of the fire engine as we work our way all the way to the back we have our four inch supply hose that allows our fire engine to connect to the fire hydrant so that we have as much water as we need at the fire we have a half inch hose your fires or as a supply hose as needed. There's 750 feet of each hose there. Next up, we have one of the most commonly used compartments, the medical compartment. The orange box there is full of our uh, basic medical supplies, band-aids, blood pressure cuffs, stethoscope, and our uh, basic life support equipment that we need. And new for the uh, coronavirus, we have our thermometers to take temperatures and we also have our uh, SBO2, our oxygen saturation, so we can make sure that everybody's breathing well. Uh, that green bag above it is our uh, oxygen bottle for anyone that needs oxygen in an emergency. And we also have our AED. We have to do CPR on somebody. Uh, if you guys watched earlier at Fire Station 27, they had all their ladders. And we got two. They're a little bit smaller. We have a 20 foot extension ladder.
and we also have our 10 foot roof ladder. Between those two, it allows us to get to the lower roof lines and uh, do any work that may not require the truck company to come all the way out there for us. And both of those ladders are uh, raised by one firefighter. So we continue our way around. We have our traffic cones in case we go on a traffic accident or have to stop traffic. We have a large hose clamp and the captain's air bottle. So there's a total of four of these uh, SCBAs on the fire engine, one for each member with a spare air bottle stored in a separate location. Uh, here in this part of the city, uh, we have high rise buildings. So we have our high rise hose packs. The uh, blue high rise hose packs there have 100 feet of hose each. They're designed to flow 200 gallons per minute. In this compartment, we have some of our forcible entry tools for prying on uh, doors and allowing us to get into buildings. This is what we call our halogen bar, and it allows us to pry and pull on uh, different doors or bars to get into a building as needed. Right next to that, we have a couple different saws. We have our big chainsaw sitting there. It can be used to cut open roofs, cut uh, plywood off of boarded up buildings, or any other wood material as needed. And then we have our reciprocating saw here, the yellow saw. It is uh, electrical powered to do a little bit smaller, more fine work. And we can also use that to cut metal as well. One of the, uh, after we, go fight fires, everybody needs to rehydrate. So we keep our cooler in here, full of water and Gatorade to make sure that everybody stays hydrated, healthy, and ready to go to the next fire. Up top in the engine, we have a little bit more equipment. Uh, we have some uh, special things we can add to, to the water to make it uh, more effective during brush fires in that yellow bottle. And then we have our extra air bottle stored up top as well. A fire engine is pretty much a very large toolbox with a bunch of hose on it. So as you uh, see firefighter Karuski up there, he is uh, just showing you some of the extra tools that are up there. And then down the very bottom here, we have what we call the trough, which is full of our hose that we use to connect to the fire hydrant, smaller hose to wash off tools and equipment after a fire, and then we have a short section of hose for when we park right next to a fire hydrant. We can connect that from the fire hydrant to this intake right here. Now we have the other side of where the firefighters sit. This is where what we call the nozzle member sits, and he is the one that pulls the uh, hose line off the side of the rig here and goes inside the building to put out the fire. All four of us on this engine are led by the fire captain who sits in this seat here. You can tell which one he is by his orange helmet sitting up there. All other members on the fire engine will uh, have a yellow helmet on and you can tell their rank by the shield on top where it will tell you what their rank is and the number station they're assigned to. So I hope you guys liked your uh, quick walkthrough of engine 13. If you have any questions, let us know. All right, thank you very much for that. That was a great tour. Um, just to answer a couple of the questions that we had, um, this is fire station 13. Uh, they're in between calls right now, so we're taking this opportunity to give you a tour of the engine. I know lots of people like to see it, and we had a question about whether this will be saved. It will be saved. It'll stay in our stories, uh, so we hope that you'll take a look at it a little bit later. And we hope to be coming back to you at least one more time while we're here with 13s. All right, thank you everyone for joining live with LAFD, and be safe. <laughs>